So, it all the big apple drive. Oof, what a journey. Not the biggest apple I've ever been on. <laughs> Can you imagine a big apple with wheels? Okay, anyway. Um, it started off with, I was singing at an open mic, and this guy in the audience said to me, have you entered this talent competition? I was like, no, no, it's cool. I'm not, I'm not in that frame to enter anything right now. He goes, please do yourself a favor. They've got, um, literally tomorrow is the last day, and then you they close the, the regional entry so I was like okay thank you so much and I didn't do it and um, the next day I went to another open mic and there this guy was and he was like did you enter and I was like no I didn't I'm so sorry he goes okay stop he picks up the phone and phones a director and he goes please listen to this girl sing and I have to sing over the phone he says okay send me a clip of you and we'll see what the judges say it literally today it closed but let me see if I can squeeze you in Okay, so I sent him a quick clip of me singing and he says the next day I got a message saying you've passed with 85%, I don't know how that worked, and you've been selected to go represent, um, go to Johannesburg to go sing at the Nationals. I was like, okay, so what is this thing, who is it, I don't know. So I did a bit of research and my cousin had done it before and he's like, no comment, it is legit. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so I managed, I didn't have much money at all and I was like, how am I going to do this? I've got to get there. Luckily I have my best friend in Joburg and he says, don't worry my bro, we'll sort you out and I'll pick you up from the airport and, and all of that. So he did, I paid for my plane ticket, I went to the, got to the airport, he picked me up and he picked me up in his convertible with my song blaring <laughs> in the background it was so sweet and uh, we sang all the way and my hair was like everywhere i loved every minute and yeah the next day we, we went to the competition and oh i don't normally play guitar for people at all and uh, i normally do it for myself at home and then this, this director said to me look listen i saw on your profile picture that you have a guitar and i was like yeah and he says please do yourself a favor you'll probably get further if you play while you sing and at least one of your songs how many you're doing i said well i mean i'm only doing two um he says okay so i said all right so here i go so here i am with my guitar <laughs> for the first time traveling with fragile stickers everywhere on my guitar and um yeah so i picked my guitar up i walked backstage and i had these huge stilettos on it was so hard and I had my guitar on my neck. I don't even know how to hold it properly with in front of people or stand yet. I haven't even practiced really in front of people behind a microphone. And I played a song and I had so much fun with it. And <laughs> when I finished this, I was like, ta-da! I was more proud of myself doing that than I think anything else. So off I go, cluck, 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 and I'll walk backstage and I take my guitar off and I put it aside and I was like, cool. And, it, and, and then, then I, I went on to my uh, next song, um, which was Pure, the one that uh, we wrote. Um, original of mine and um, before I be, just before I went on this little boy comes running out he goes you're common I was like yes and he goes you got such a nice voice I heard you playing guitar and I'm like you're so cute anyway I'll get back to him just now and then I went out and I sang my my pure song I got into it and I had such a duel and got off the stage and I had to get literally back on the airplane because I had work the next day so I was like okay you know and the guy on backstage he said to me he goes are you not staying for the prize giving? I was like, I can't. He goes, okay, please tell the director that I will get the prizes for you. I live in Durban. I'll bring it to you if you win anything. I was like, well, thank you. Okay, cool. Here's my number. Cool. And I ran. Okay. I, get, I land in Durban and I'm in the car. My brother's picked me up from Joburg, um, from the airport in Durban. And he's, I get a phone call and he's like, Carmen, 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 Carmen. And I was like, yes, what's wrong? Are you, are you okay? I'm like, what did you want? He goes, don't worry about me. You've been selected to represent South Africa in New York. I was like, what? He says, you got gold medals and you're on your way, girl. I was like, no. I didn't even know this happened. I just thought it was a competition in Joburg. That's, that's what I went for the experience or something. I didn't know that they, I didn't know nothing. <laughs> so I was like, I said to my brother, I'm going to New York. He's like, congratulations how the hell are you gonna do that so i was like i don't know anyway we, we left it and i was like a zombie the whole way home going okay pinch 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 and then i came home i was like mark <laughs> so <laughs> i've got this idea <laughs> and it always starts i've got this idea i think it's gonna work and he's like what is it well well i'm going to new york in three months time and i need eighty thousand rand <laughs> he's like okay what have you got so i'm like no nothing and I'm not even going to touch any of my money. If I don't make it, I don't make it. I'm going to see. First of all, it's going to do two things. It's going to give me experience and it's going to give me publicity. Okay. So let's think business now. <laughs> he goes, okay. I said, then you're coming on everything that we're doing. He goes, okay. So I'm like, all right. So here we go. 
we when I, I, I don't even know where to start. What did we do? Did we the do? first night that we did anything was a Friday night, and uh, we we were here. We didn't have any plans that night. We we weren't doing anything, so we decided we were going to do a karaoke tour of KZN, and uh, we got in the car and we drove to every single spot we could with a banner. Um, they must we have had been a, all made. Yeah, we had a we had a banner made by common system law with the big apple drive and this whole thing and we took this banner and we just went to everywhere that there was karaoke on a friday night and we just kind of hijacked it and uh luckily we know everyone in the industry so it was okay uh and we at, at one of the stops we raised 1250 rand we were there for 20 minutes oh that was so special um so we had i think at the end of that night you know we'd been to four different stops i think we made two and a half thousand rand mm. in the first first night we tried to make money and really all we did was come and sang and I went and spoke to people and just said hey she's representing her country this is what we need we need to raise this money you guys need to help us and uh, just to see how people kind of came to the to the party for us and um, you know and then and, you know so we did that and then we kind of from there onwards we did a number of different events um, that we planned ourselves yeah. well Carmen planned a lot of it but uh, where we would you know we'd play uh, a, a high tea you know on a sunday afternoon or tea and cake we would play um we, we'd play night markets and we'd play corporate events we did a, yeah. we did an toyota. event for toyota and you know where where they paid us and so um we for 12 weeks in a row we played every single weekend and during the week we and during staff. the week so we were we, we probably <laughs> yeah we were dead by the end of it so but um tired. but you know the final day that we we did a we did a an event on a Sunday afternoon to kind of say thank you to everybody and the overall kind of feeling that that we we all got in the team because it was it was common and parable and and uh, you know we had other artists that helped us out as well and we had you know Carmen's mom was sort of managing this whole thing with us and you know we we had a sort of a family that we built around what we were doing and the one thing that kind of stood out more than anything was just the fact that there is still pure humanity and that people people want to help they just don't know how you know and so for us to go out and say hey we need your help this is what we want to do people want to get behind anything that is good and pure and, and has has a cause so we did it we raised 80,000 rand in 12 weeks and um, we put Carmen on a plane and she put her South African tracksuit on and then went to Dubai where it's 500 degrees Horrible and sweated heat. there for a while and then she went to New York yeah. and and the rest is the rest is almost history but she'll tell you the rest but the most um overwhelming thing for me was not the fact that your feet are so sore and that you're you're so tired and you're so stressed i mean my body came out in that rash mm. just i was so so tired and so stressed out that like i've got to make this payment oh my gosh and bah, there comes money and then my body i ended up itching everywhere just from stress and stuff but besides all of that it was people from my childhood from school days in primary school that have immigrated overseas that have you know they've got families they've got careers of their own they've got lives that they donated like a thousand rand a thousand rand to me because because of the, the amazing family i have that helped them when they needed help so because of the nicest the person who i am and that that made me realize a lot about myself is that I'm a nice person and it, don't ever turn your back on people because not that one day you're going to need them is one day you're going to you're going to appreciate them and they're going to appreciate you it's it's about the journey it's not about the destination and I, I really have I cannot explain to you the, the 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 gratitude I have for every single person they let it be oh my gosh this one lady she feeds her whole family on her salary and she had saved for me a hundred rand. I yeah, said, was... I don't need this. You need this more than I do. I don't need it. It doesn't matter if I don't go. It's okay. She goes, no, I prayed about this and God told me and I want you to go. And I, until today, I just, I look at her and go, Pumsy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I have had people think that I'm scamming people I've had <laughs> people tell me I'll never make it that was cool that's part of the package <laughs> you gotta, you gotta.
laugh about it. Because at the end of the day, it's up to you. Do you want this? If you want it, then go get it. Nothing's going to stop you. Nothing. I mean, flip, I hated handing out pamphlets at robots. It sucks. It really, it's horrible. People go, don't look. I'm like, hey, it's, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really a nice person. Just please come to our events. Please, 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 please. I'd go to flea markets and go stand there and just go, hi, do you want to watch these sing tomorrow? I really had to put myself out there and I'm a really outgoing person. But for me to sell me, it was very difficult. I was very shy and I'm not a shy person. So to put myself out there, like in a very humble state was very, very hard because I'm now bare naked. I'm now open myself up to people now judging me and that is hard to put and I think on the even spot. you know even the corporates we had spas and pick and pay and oh, yeah. stuff you know we did these high teas where you know there's expenses you know you've got to provide coffee and tea and cakes and that type of thing for people and we'd go to spa and say hey we're doing this thing can you help us and they'd give us coffee and sugar and tea and milk and oros, oros and <laughs> you know just and, and you know the fact that you know with all due respect Carmen is a nobody at that point you know she she was just just a just a singer in in, in Durban you know nobody nobody special and people just kind of saw the opportunity to get involved and do something incredible for some just for someone else it, it wasn't you know it wasn't a charity mm -mm. that's the that's the cool thing is that it wasn't a charity it was like hey I'm taking your money so that I can go and live my dreams and people were like yeah, we want to support you. That was and cool. so the okay. fact that humanity still exists was the thing that we all walked away with a little bit shell shocked at like, okay, so there's some bad stuff out there, but people still are amazing and inherently have the desire to do good things.